Thank you. Hello, folks. It's exciting, isn't it? How exciting. I'm finally unveiling my 1970s off-duty TV cop look. <laughs> Thank you. Good, good. No, it's good. Um, I almost quit comedy, which is crazy, because I've, you know, I've been lucky as a comedian. I've, I've done gigs in exotic, ridiculous, fancy locations sometimes. I did an example, I did a run of shows in India a, few, a couple of years ago. It was, you know, wild, amazing. Um, before that, I found myself in Helsinki, Finland. Stunning. More recently, I was in Bendigo, <laughs> Victoria. It was good. It was good. It was just good to see the bank in its natural habitat. <laughs> it's good. It's an interesting one, isn't it? It sounds like a shit joke. Isn't. It's clever. It's clever. No, but it is an exciting time in my life, folks. Maybe more exciting than yours, because, and this is absolutely true, for the first time in my life, I have been getting skin cancers cut from my white body whilst simultaneously being deficient in vitamin D. <laughs> That's a tightrope, isn't it? Which is it, God? Come on! How bulldust is a human life if a human person can have too much sun and not enough sun? <laughs> like, fucking pop a little bullet in that person's head, I reckon. Bloody get it over with. I mean, you know, you'd think that'd balance out, wouldn't you, those two things? Low, low vitamin D, skin cancer. You'd think there'd be some sort of... You know, I'm interested to see who'll win, to be honest. Yeah, cancer, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> That's the strong front runner, isn't it? <laughs> Out of those two. When I was in India, I was um, having breakfast one morning at this restaurant. I just noticed there was a t TV up in the corner. I looked at it and had local programs playing. I was just watching them. Couldn't understand them, but I, they had like news headlines underneath, like English news headlines. I was reading them. And the only one I can remember, which has always stayed with me, I'll never forget it, said this. Five injured, one dead in mishap. Mishap, right? And I was like, what the... And I had to leave breakfast, never got to see what that story was, right? And I walked away just wondering. I just like, because what... Honestly, what could that have been? Like, what is a mishap? What's a typical mishap, folk? Like, I don't know, as an example, you're, you're... After this, you're at the bar, you're a few people away from the bar, you're trying to order a drink, perhaps. You're like, oh, do I, do I need a mask? Have I, have I got my mask? And then, I don't know, a bit of poo comes out. <laughs> you know, it's an accident, isn't it? Like, no one's dead. So I couldn't work it out, and so even when I came back to Australia, for the purposes of this joke, I, I put it into Google, the word, the word mishap. You can try this at home. I put it into Google, and um, I've got it here on my phone. If you type it in... Um, <laughs> now, I've got it here. This is... Apparently, I'm told I can do a close-up, which is super exciting for me. Now, anyone at the back, if you can't see this... Um, uh, just watch it on TV next week. But, um... <laughs> it's, a, it's a mishap. It's defined... It's a noun, I thought so. Checks out, yeah? Um, and it's an unlucky accident, defined as an unlucky accident. And I thought, yes, good, makes sense. But they've gone one better Google, if you've seen that. They've you added a sentence, which is always helpful, don't you find? It's always helpful. The sentence they've gone with, and I return to this often, this is absolutely true. Although there were a few minor mishaps, none of the pancakes stuck to the ceiling. <laughs> How good. Awesome. Yeah. Five injured, one dead. <laughs> None of the pancakes stuck to the ceiling. <laughs> Fuck yeah. That's a Shrove Tuesday tragedy, isn't it? And a triumph in many ways. Okay, folks, that's me. Thanks, I'm David Quirk. Um, <laughs> stop eating animals, thank you.